The Canadian National Exhibition is the largest community event in Canada. Uh, we need to be reflective of the community that we serve. And clearly we were not meeting that mark with persons with disabilities. So we struck this advisory council uh, made up of, of a, a cross-section of folks uh, from, the, uh, from the community uh, and they went away and did uh, work very hard and very diligently for about uh, six months and came back to us with a number of recommendations that they thought that the CNE could incorporate into our approach and um, from that um, we've established a five-year plan around accessibility and how we become an inclusive uh, an event in the City of Toronto. We feel it's important that we reflect the makeup of our workforce, that it, that it mirrors the community at large, uh, and so we've got some, some targets within that plan to help us achieve that. Persons with disabilities represent about 20% of the community, and that number is growing, uh, particularly with an aging population. And um, but uh, so we want to ensure that we reflect that number. We're at about 10% right now, just a little bit shy of 10%. Um, but we've got three more years in our plan, and our target is to try and hit that 20% mark um, in three years' time. Not only from uh, the perspective of we, we need to reflect the community, but I think it's also makes a, it also makes business sense. We know that persons with disabilities have better attendance records, typically score higher than other employees when they go through an evaluation. They um, uh, engage in a very positive way. Our you know, customer satisfaction is increased. Um, so why wouldn't you do it? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? I mean, you're bringing happy, hardworking people into your organization. How does that work against you as, a, as an employer?